Oh, hello, <laughs> live again, hello. Hey, good to see you all on um, sunny Saturday morning. Yeah, it's um, 10 to seven, so I start early, even on a Saturday. And uh, yeah, welcome everyone. Um, obviously, in the UK, many people probably in bed now, <laughs> but uh, they can watch this on Rewind later. So listen, so getting straight to the point today, I just wanted to talk to you about something that's close to my heart, but that can benefit you greatly. Okay, and that is this word. Now, this word can, is scary to some people, repulsive to others, and yet to many, many people, it's a blessing, right? And that is the word worms. Now, in the UK, there's about 150 species of <clears throat> different worms. For example, you've got earthworms, which are a blessing to gardeners. In fact, I was um, just heard the other day that because of the pesticides that they're using on the fields um, to grow things, <clears throat> Um, it's killing a lot of the worms and and the crops, even though they've been sprayed, I suppose, to try and uh, eliminate bugs and stuff like that. Because there's no earthworms, the crops are failing miserably. So worms are vital in the productivity of our planet. And so there's 150 species of worms in the UK and I used to live in a place called Oswestry in Shropshire and let me just uh -huh. sorry about that just getting my little eraser and um, <clears throat> I first got into worms I suppose I used to crawl down the garden and there used to be a septic tank down there I didn't know it was a septic tank it was a strange place with a lid and I'd lift the lid and there'd be this heaving mass of worms inside. It always scared me, um, intrigued me as well. Anyway, years and years later, I actually found out that uh, they were worms, and but they were doing a job in there. They were actually eating all the fat and the grease and the sludge, breaking it down into safe, clean, organic matter. And I thought that was amazing. And, and so I started studying into worms. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. So worms, right? Let me just show you something about worms. Now, I've never seen a worm this big, right? So I've never seen a worm that big before, but I'm just doing it that big just to illustrate a point. <clears throat> and whether it's on a... Whether it's in your garden, whether it's on a forest floor, or in your septic tank, the worm will eat waste. All right, so that's a piece of waste there. So they'll eat it, they'll munch it. It's then digested, which I know you know. I mean, this isn't a biology lesson, but it's then digested as it travels down through their intestines. And this is the amazing bit now, right? It actually comes out. They poop out organic liquid waste. That's clean, safe. And it's almost like, it literally is like a fertilizer. And that's basically how worms work, right? And <clears throat> for example, let me give you an example. Dog poop. You know, dog poop, we love our dogs and it's just something we don't really like to think about too much until we tread in it. 
Oh, God. You know, one of the worst things is to tread in dog poop and tread through, through the house or in the car. It's horrible. It's, it, it's really vile stuff, especially if it's someone else's dogs, from someone else's dogs. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this. I suppose all poop's horrible, <clears throat> but some, you know, I used to work on a farm for years and cow muck and sheep poop always seemed um, more innocuous somehow. But the point I'm making is I started researching about these 150 species of worms and a couple of those species of worms actually eats poop. Okay. And the reason I'm telling you that is because they did a, they did a test and they found that you know, in, 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 in certain types of dog poop, it, it's so toxic, it can make people blind, it can make them ill, it can kill them. But the reason I'm telling you all that is worms can take something so toxic like that, they can turn something toxic into something clean and safe. And that's what they do. A rotting, so take a rotting corpse on the forest floor, whether it's a lion, a buffalo, deer, snake, mouse, bird, whatever, cow, and they can take all that dead rigor mortis tissue, they actually eat it and break it down into safe, clean, organic matter that goes back into the soil and produces life. So what I'm trying to say is worms promote life okay they promote life they take the evil toxic bad substances of the earth and they break it down into safe clean organic liquid waste when i learned that it blew me away blew me away it really did so why am I telling you this? Because you can use worms to break down your toxic waste. That's why I'm telling you this. Okay, I'm not just on about a, comp a composter. I'm on about actual bad, horrible waste that we want to get rid of, okay? Let me give you two examples, right? Right, so number one, let me try and draw this correctly. All right, number one, septic tank. So we call that a septic tank. Now, a septic tank, it, I suppose, is called so because it's full of horrible germs, okay? It's full of rubbish. It's full of germs. Number two, Dog poop septic tank. Again, it's got dog, toxic dog poop in, okay? But this is where we're going with this. In a septic tank, you can put septic tank soak away worms in there. That's what we call them. And these worms, they live in the bottom of the tank. Well, in fact, they live all in the tank. It, worms don't drown. If, they, if the water's oxygenated, then worms don't drown. They just live and live and live and live and live. All right, and they break down and turn that waste into clean, safe, organic matter. And then with the dog poop septic tank, it's the same. Inside the dog poop septic tank, are worms, organic, special organic worms that eat dog waste down, dog poop down, and they convert it into safe, clean, 
organic matter. And so that is what I wanted to show you this morning, how you can use worms. If you've got dogs, if you've got a septic tank, put some worms in there, right? Put some soak away worms in. It'll break down all that waste, all that, all that fat, all that grease in the sludge and keep your system clean. If you've got dogs, then use a dog poop septic tank. The dog poop septic tank turns dog poop into safe, clean, organic matter. So it's got a little soak away on there, and the, the liquid wastewater goes from there, goes into the ground, and then just soaks away like that. So I just wanted to show you today the power of how you can utilize and use worms to your benefit. So if you've got a septic tank, as I said, put the worms in there, it'll clean it out, right? If you've got dog poop, get yourself a dog poop septic tank and let the worms break it down and convert it into safe, clean, organic matter. So uh, there you go. If you want um, some worms, soak away worms, go to septictank.co.uk. You can also get a dog poop Dissolver, uh, which, uh, yeah, actually dog poop. The worms dissolve dog poop, right? And so you can go to septictank.co.uk and get yourself a dog poop septic tank, or you can go to dog poop septic tank.com and you can see more information on there. So listen, there you go. That was my thought for the morning. Worms are amazing for um, promoting life and cleaning our earth, uh, removing toxic things and turning them into safe, clean, organic matter. So there you go. That's my thought for the day. And um, thank you very much <clears throat> for taking the time to watch me tell you about worms this morning. But uh, for those who are having a lie in, if you've got any other questions or queries, go to septictank.co.uk. Oh, uh, yeah, it's somewhere there. There you go. It's it's quite hard to point because everything's left and everything's right and up and down and back to front. So, so septictank.co.uk. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Or dogpoopseptictank.com. All right. Have a great day.